and welcome to Linux Sint YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about pointers in the C programming language. What are pointers, how do pointers work and how to declare and initialize pointers are the topics that are going to be covered in this very short video. So let's get started. Starting off with what pointers are. Pointers are special variables that are used to store the address of a particular memory block. Yes, these are variables. But rather than storing the actual value, they store the address of the memory which contains that value. Thus, we get the term pointing to a value. To better demonstrate this, look at this visual representation that is being displayed to you on your screen. You can see that we have a block of memory. Now, this block of memory contains some values inside it, such as 5, 8, 3, 4, and 2. The block of memories have their respective addresses as well. For example, the first one has the address 1001, the second one has the address 1002 and so on. These are not the actual memory addresses, rather we are just taking them as an example. So, if we were to create a pointer to point to the value 8 in the memory, then that pointer variable will have the following memory address inside it. So as you can see we have this pointer static ptr and hit as the address of the memory block 1002 which points to the value 8. There is also a side information that I would like to add that the address stored in the pointer is always the base address of that value or that particular memory location. What this means is that if you have a value that is taking up two blocks in the memory then the pointer for that value would contain the starting address not the whole address but the starting address of that particular memory location. Now that we are aware of what pointers are and how do they actually point to a particular value in the memory, we can now go over on how to declare and define pointer variables in C programming language. So to declare a variable or I should say a pointer variable, we have to follow a specific syntax. The syntax of the pointer variable is as you have the data type which will tell us the type of the value this pointer is referencing to. Remember, this data type that we are allocating to this particular pointer variable is not the data type of the pointer variable. Rather, it is the data type of the value this pointer is going to be referencing to. I know this all sounds a little confusing, but once you have applied pointers or used them in your code, you'll get the hang of it. So coming back to our syntax, we have the data type followed by the asterisk symbol with the identifier now this identifier is the name of the variable just like you name a normal variable you can give a name to the pointer variable as well and then you follow it up with the assignment operator and to point to the address of a particular value you use the AND operator. This AND symbol is often referred to as the address operator. So all in all you have the data type of the pointer variable followed by the asterisk symbol with the identifier of the variable set equal to a particular address of the memory location. So now we know how to use the syntax to declare a variable. So if I were to give you an example, suppose that we want to create a pointer variable that is going to refer to an integer value. So we would write the following things on our code. We would write integer to define the data type, follow it up by a static symbol and then for the name of the variable I'm going to call it ptr and I'm going to set it equal to some other variable let's say x rather than just simply typing x I would type and operator and then x. So that is how you declare and define pointer variables in C programming language. But how to work with the values inside the pointer variable or the values that are referenced by the pointer variable. Fetching values from the pointer variable can be a little confusing. I mean if we try to get the values using the normal syntax of fetching a value from a normal variable then we will find ourselves some garbage values because obviously we will be referencing or we will be fetching the addresses of memory blocks rather than the value itself. To get the value we use an asterisk symbol again but this time around this asterisk symbol is called the indirectional symbol. Keep in mind when you are declaring a pointer variable then you use this asterisk symbol but then it is not called an indirectional operator rather it is called the pointer operator. But when you are using it to get the value from the pointer variable or when you are trying to get the value from the reference placed inside the pointer variable, in that particular case, this operator is known as the indirectional symbol. 
So if we look at our code, we can create a normal integer value. Let's call it integer x and give it some value 5. So I'm going to show you some memory blocks alongside this code. So we have this integer value x that contains the value 5. Now I'm going to create a pointer variable which is going to be referencing to an integer value. So that is why I'm using the keyword int. And to notify the compiler that this is a pointer variable, I'm going to use the SRX symbol and my identifier is PTR. And I'm going to set this equal to the address for that I'm using the address operator address of the value placed at the variable x. So now if you look at the diagram that is being displayed alongside this code, you can see that this pointer variable is not actually pointing to the value of x, rather to the location of x. So now we are simply going to use two print statements. Let's use the first print statement to print out the value that is currently placed inside this pointer variable. So I'm going to write something like the value placed inside the pointer variable. I'm using the format specifier as percentage %d because the value is of an integer data type. So if we run this code right now, we should be able to see what is placed inside this pointer variable. So as you can see that the value currently placed inside this variable, this memory block is 642296. So if we fill out this value in the memory block, we have 642296. Now what if I want the value that is being pointed at? So I'm going to write another statement, printf, and I'm going to say that the value that is being pointed at is percentage %d escape sequence n and for this value I'm going to use the indirectional symbol which is asterisk and then the name of the pointer variable. So let's try executing this code once more and we have the exact same memory location 6 for triple to 9 6 which is storing the value of the variable x. We are getting that value which is 5. Pointers right now might not seem like a good idea to use. But trust me as you work with data structures or implementation of different algorithms in C programming language, pointers are going to become your best friends. So for now just simply understand the concept of what pointers are because soon enough you will be able to see the power that you get with the use of pointers. So that was all for this video about pointers.